Hey everybody, what's up? I wanted to do a book review about one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, so the book is called Welcome to My Jungle. It's written by Craig Deswalt, who was Axl Rose's personal assistant for about three years uh, when Guns N' Roses was at the height of their fame. They were the biggest rock and roll band in the world around 1991 all the way through 1992, 93. And he toured with them in the Use Your Illusions tour, and he basically lived with Axl every day on the road. And, you know, you think there would be tons of great stories that a lot of Guns N' Roses fans would love to know. I mean, Slash wrote a book, Duff wrote a book, and those were really good books. Duff's book especially, I recommend you guys go check that out. He's got a new book coming out uh, in a month or so, which I am so looking forward to. But getting back to this book, um, the main problem that I have with this book is that this book is just basically little stories that are told over a period of time, but there's no actual chronological order. Like, the book will jump around different dates, and there's no basic narrative linking one story to the next so in chapter two he may talk about some event that happened in 1993 then chapter five he's talking about an event that happened in early 1992 and he just sort of jumps all over the place the only place that we actually do see some actual storytelling is at the beginning when Doeswell talks about how he originally got his start in the rock and roll industry talking about how he got his start working for the bad air supply and then how he managed to get a gig uh, with Guns N' Roses there actually are a few interesting stories in here uh, they talk about, he talks a little bit about the MTV Music Awards where Axel and Kurt, you know, were trash talking one another. He talks about Axel Rose's moth extermination method. He talks about the night that uh, they were uh, touring in Italy in 1993 and gunshots rang out near their hotel. And those are some interesting stories, but a lot of the main questions that Guns N' Roses fans really want to know, like why did the band break up? Why was Axel always late? Um, you know, well, about all the drug abuse that went on in the band between Slash, Duff, and Matt. You know, none of that stuff is really covered. And the other thing I got from reading this book is that Axel really comes across really good in the book. In fact, all the members do. They come across as really good guys. And it's kind of surprising from, like, reading this book that this band broke up. And even he says it himself that he thinks the band will eventually reunite, which I don't think there's any chance in hell of happening. But the biggest thing I was really disappointed about in this book was why why Craig wasn't working with Guns N' Roses after they got off the tour. He sort of talks about uh, going to Axel's Halloween party, and then the book just randomly ends there. There's no explanation in terms of why he quit Guns N' Roses, because it seemed like a pretty awesome gig, and even he, throughout this entire book, can't help but hold it. Can't help but you know show off how excited he is to be riding in limos, going on private jets, touring around the world. And, you know, it, it kind of left me a little disappointed in the end because I'd love to know every tidbit I can get my hand on about Guns N' Roses. But, you know, a lot of the important questions that fans want to know are probably not going to find it in this book. So I'd probably give this book a two and a half out of five. I'd like to know if you guys read the book. Leave your comments below and tell me what you thought of it. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to stay up to, stay up to date on all the latest things Guitar Hero and Rock Band, including the Rock Band Customs community, click the subscribe button. Take care.